Hey, what's going on Shrimp Keepers? I wanted to do a video today. Um, I'm going to be talking about one of my most um, essential tools at keeping a successful shrimp tank. And so what I'm going to focus in on is I'm going to give you guys three reasons why snails are absolutely essential to any shrimp tank. Uh, at least that's my belief. And I'm going to go through and explain every reason why I feel that way. So hopefully by the end of the video, you guys will feel that way too. And so uh, the first reason why is um, cycling. Um, every single tank needs well cycled. Shrimp are sensitive. Uh, they don't do good in the cycling process. So you have to make sure you have a well established tank before adding the shrimp to them. And so to achieve that, normally we, we buy fish and we add them in. We leave them in there for a month, maybe two months. Uh, get the filter really cycled. And then, uh, and then we pull that stuff out and then we add shrimp. But the problem is uh, shrimp are pretty expensive. So normally we'll only add 10, maybe 20 shrimp. And then uh, after maybe a month, we start noticing random deaths. We don't know what's going on. And uh, a lot of the times, at least that I found, is uh, the tank is actually recycling. So shrimp aren't producing enough waste to keep the colony of bacteria in the filter alive. And so the way I prevent that is I add snails to the tank. And uh, snails are pretty dirty in nature. They're, you know, they're pretty grody. They produce a ton of waste. And so keeping snails in a shrimp tank, they're gonna produce that excess waste, at least in the beginning stages of a tank, to keep that colony of bacteria thriving, keep it alive. And so shrimp or snails are absolutely essential to this because like I said, shrimp cannot survive um, a relapse or a recycling stage. And so, uh, so the snails are really gonna reduce the chances of a tank recycling. Um, and so that is the number one reason why I use them. Number two reason is, and I know you guys can probably guess this one, is snails are gonna eat any leftover food that the shrimp aren't consuming. And so most times that I find, and again, I get a lot of emails, so I have, I feel like I have a good understanding. Um, a lot of people will feed too much food. And I'm notorious for this too. Uh, you know, I'm pretty busy. Um, I got a lot of shrimp tanks. I'll, I'll drop in some food when I'm leaving. And I don't watch to make sure the shrimp are consuming all the food. And so in the past, I've actually killed pretty big tanks just because I was feeding way too much. And so the way that I reduce the chances of that happen, happening is I will add snails to a tank. Sorry, I got handprints on the screen or on the glass. Um, I'm gonna add snails to every single one of my tanks, or I have, but I do this because they're gonna eat that leftover food. Uh, they're gonna make sure that it's not just sitting there foul in the water, the shrimp aren't still picking at it after it's spoiled. And so snails really are a good cleanup crew. But on top of being a good cleanup crew, they also, like all creatures, they poop. And uh, their poop uh, is what this, at least this is what I believe. I've read a lot of articles on it, I've seen it in action, a lot of other hobbyists believe it. But snail poop has a bacteria in it that is really good for the digestive system of shrimp. And so uh, any snails, uh, their poop is going to be good for the shrimp. Shrimp are scavengers. They're constantly going to be picking, so they're going to find that poop. Uh, they're going to pick at it. They're going to get that good bacteria in their digestive tract, and uh, it's just an all-around win. So the second reason why I believe snails are essential to a shrimp tank, they're going to eat that leftover food, and their poop is golden for shrimp. <laughs> and then the third and final reason is this. Um, a shrimp tank, you can't get in there and you can't siphon the gravel. Uh, at least it's very hard. You're going to suck up babies. It's just not an easy thing. A lot of times we have uh, dirt substrates. And um, if you go in there and you start sticking a siphon in there, you're going to break up that dirt substrate. Anything like Fluval, Shrimp Stratum, uh, ADA Amazonia, Brightwell. It's going to break up when you press down on it. And so uh, so si or siphoning the gravel of a shrimp tank, just it's not easy. And, and most people don't do it. I know I don't do it. And so what ends up happening when you do that or more or less when you don't siphon, uh, you get a gas buildup in the substrate. Um, little gas pockets will build up of decaying food and it will produce that gas. And that gas is extremely toxic to shrimp. And so a lot of hobbyists have planted tanks with their shrimp. And so over time they'll, they'll plant a new plant and they'll, they'll mess around in the substrate just a little bit and those gas pockets will get exposed. And uh, they'll get into the water column and eventually they could kill your shrimp. And so shrimp right now you're or snails right now you're looking at chocolate rabbit snails but my favorite are malaysian trumpet snails and what they do is they'll actually burrow down into the substrate and uh they are going to constantly be turning that substrate so that it reduces the risk of a, a gas pocket being built up um and so 
those snails are, are really good for it. A lot of people think Malaysian trumpet snails are pests, and uh, that is not the case. They're probably one of the most essential tools at preventing that from happening, the gas buildup in the substrate. And so I use mainly Malaysian trumpet snails in all my tanks. Right now you're looking at rabbit snails. I use them in my tank. You can see this one's burrowing right now. And so you're really reducing your chances of uh, that gas buildup. So reason three, reduce your chance of a gas buildup by having Malaysian trumpet snails in your tank or any kind of trumpet snail, rabbit snails, all that. And so guys, those are three reasons why I think snails are absolutely essential to any healthy shrimp tank. And uh, I'm gonna use them in all my tanks. Um, I hope you guys are gonna use them in your tanks because they're really good. And uh, I hope that, honestly, I hope somebody picks up something from this video. I hope I prevent one of you from having a, um, you know, a recycled tank and losing a lot of shrimp, uh, costing yourself a lot of money, but killing, you know, these beautiful creatures for uh, just something that you didn't know. And so, guys, thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys appreciate the videos lately and uh, just a tad bit of knowledge. And uh, it's just been good. It's a lot of fun making these videos. So you guys make it a great week and buy some snails to put in those shrimp tanks. So you guys have a good one, and I will talk to you soon. Later.